guys, it's Arakuri Damola, and welcome to my web design course. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to teach you how to build your very own website using WordPress. We will cover everything from registering a domain name to choosing a web hosting company, and of course, to designing your website from scratch. Now, while most of the tools and resources we'll be using are free, there are a couple of costs you should be aware of, all right? Registering a domain name typically costs around $10 on GoDaddy, all right, for one year. And web hosting can cost around $30 from interserver.net, which brings the total cost to roughly $40 or 32,000 Naira based on the 2023 uh, market rate. But don't worry, if you are on the budget, the cost is relatively low. And I will be showing you how to build your site using free tools and resources wherever possible. And if you ever get stuck, all right, if you ever get stuck or have a question, just drop a comment down below or shoot me a message and I will be happy to help you out. So get ready to dive into the exciting world of web design. Hit that subscribe button, like and share this video and let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, we are here uh, in my work station, or uh, should I say work mode? And uh, yes, so we are going to be uh, talking around how to create a WordPress website from scratch. And of course, uh, this is going to be the ultimate WordPress tutorial uh, that you will find online for beginners. All right. And um, uh Without much further ado, uh, I'd just like to talk a, a little bit around uh, who am I, all right? My name is Ara Kunrida Mola once again, and I'm a jack of all three and master of all. To some people, I'm a marketing lord, while to others, I'm a talented photographer. And to more other people, uh, I'm a content creator who enjoys helping brands grow and scale their businesses to the point where it becomes extremely profitable. In a nutshell, I'm a marketing communications expert who also happen to, you know, enjoy talking about uh, masculinity, career, and of course, uh, self-improvement. All right. Uh, so to jump into the outline, uh, we are going to... Uh, uh, this is the outline we're going to be working with, okay? Uh, and of course, I'm still updating the outline. And uh, for this particular session, I'm only going to uh, be walking us around how to register a domain, all right? Now, and uh, I'm just going to jump uh, back into uh, uh, the web hosting area of my browser. And I'm going to definitely, for this particular uh, our tutorial we're going to be uh be creating something for one of my bosses and of course i already have it in the cart here depot awoji uh that's dr depot uh all right and um actually for this particular course dr Deco happened to be like the sponsor of this entire course and it's not just for web design alone uh is also sponsoring 25 is actually sponsoring 75 people 25 for this web design course and also 25 for product design and tw another 25 for graphic design all right and um so one of the things that we want to do as a web design team is to actually go ahead and buy uh the doctor uh Deco rather Deco Awojiri Education Fund dot com. All right, it's already here, and uh, we're, I'm just gonna walk uh my students through how to actually get this particular domain. All right, so how do you get the domain? One of the things, all right, that you need to first of all do uh, to search the availability of the domain however before we go there i quickly wanted to uh walk off through this particular part all right and specifically for how uh, you know the, the, the very first few steps that you need to take for saying that you want to even go ahead and register a domain all right and these are the things to consider 
and the first one there on the list is make it easy to remember and spell all right so whatever domain that you're trying to get for whether you're trying to get it for yourself or you're trying to get it for your client it's important that this domain is something that is easy to remember and of course people and easily spell it. I mean, you do not want to go and buy a domain that is hard to spell, like for instance, um, wahidiajanlekoko.com, all right? Or you don't want that. It has to be something, of course, that is simple and that is um, easily, you know, or that people can easily remember. Let's put it that way, all right? And of course, the second one is you can use keyword. All right, it's if 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 you if you for instance, uh, you're you're talking about uh personal branding, you can say personal branding experts, uh, dot com or something. But I mean, whichever way you want to have it is possible for you to add keywords in your domain. For uh for horse, we're gonna be using uh Dipo Awujide uh, Education Fund. Now that's easily such a. I mean, if you go ahead and come here, all right. If you go ahead and come here and search, um, okay, I already have the somewhere around this. If I see for instance, for people, you can see that people are already searching for this particular keyword. All right, people are already searching for it. So. I mean, it's just something cool to do to say that we just create the domain outright of Tito Awoji the Education Fund. All right, makes sense that way. Now, uh, the third one is get the .com extension if you can. So, I mean, when we come back here, so for instance, I'm just going to go back a little bit and say, um, let's say Tito Awoji. Education phone. Uh, okay, let's just leave it as this. All right, without the dot com. Okay, you see that uh, it says that okay, this domain for the dot com is actually available. Sometimes that domain might not be available. All right, so you could just go ahead and get deeper our education dot font or deeper our education font dot org. I mean, these are. Other you can also see .net. You can also see .info, .bees, You know, and sometimes you can even see uh depotout.com. So I, I mean, look at it here now. So uh, it is based uh in uh Dr. Depot, right? It's based in the UK. So I mean, if I wanted to do it, I could just say depotout.educationfund.co.uk. Right? I mean. You can do it that way, but for this one, for dot, we prefer to go for the dot com. Why? Because dot com is like commercial, you know, for commercial purposes. I mean, everybody uses, everybody makes use of dot com. I mean, when you say I uh, visit my website, everybody is searching for Facebook dot com, and Twitter dot com, and you know, dot com dot com dot com. I mean, nobody will just go ahead and say they want to search for dot org or dot net unless, of course, you tell them to do so. All right, so. If you can get the .com extension, and of course, uh, one of the things that I do personally is that I like to advise my clients on uh the particular for, for their brand name. So, for instance, if my my client's name is um Achai uh Olan Rewaju, I might just advise them to go and they are trying to build a personal brand. I can of course advise them to go for AchaiOnLanRewaju.com especially if it's available. I mean, it's their brand name. When they say my name is Ajayi Onarawaju, and of course I have a website, it's my website, Ajayi Onarawaju. I mean, it's easy for people to actually go ahead. Since it's their name, they can spell it. They, I mean, it's easy that way. And, and you get what I'm trying to say, right? And if it's a brand name, all right? So maybe their brand is, uh, for instance, uh, Miracle Digital Solutions, all right? You can decide to, you know, go for that. But instead of going for longer versions, I like to keep it at two syllables, just like Facebook, all right? And like Twitter, which is just one, I think, syllable. I mean, so really, you don't want to go past two syllables at most, 
all right you want to keep it that way so that's the way i like to advise my clients all right i like to advise them to go for short simple actionable magnetic memorable names all right and of course you should be the one helping them register this domain all right you know for some other people you know especially if you want to uh you know keep working with this client for a long time all right uh and uh you should be the one regist registering this domain for them in our class of course i'm going to tell you why uh you should be the one registering this domain okay i'm going to like talk more around that all right this is our secret okay so uh speaking of which we have to now get back into the space of course you can for me i like to use goldaddy to get my domain names and for some people they like to use namecheap and every other ones in the markets i don't use i think i've only used namecheap once all right i use it to get a domain and to register for the website i've done that before i've also done uh uh was it called web hosting with go that day before but no uh one of the things i like to advise my student all right or my client is that it's if you are trying to set up or create a website you should be buying your domain name separately from where you are buying your web hosting all right and um very quickly let me quickly explain the concept around uh uh domain registering a domain name so i was talking about this you know uh and i mean i was sharing about this with my student and i wanted to share it here again uh in, for other people you know to learn uh from so uh your name is ajayi or larry Waju, or your name is uh james doe or john doe as the case may be that is your person you are looking for an apartment all right you found a house all right and after finding that particular house you paid for it that house is your web host you are the domain name all right you are the domain name the house that you found is your web host all right and the apartment that you have in that building is your platform all right so that platform can either be uh um what do you call it now it can either be um wordpress joomla drupal wix squarespace whichever one that you're going for or also are going to be working with wordpress all right so uh your platform is your apartment, okay? And in your apartment, you have furniture, you have your table, you have your you have your television set, you have your mirrors, you have your I mean everything that makes your uh your home a home. All right, you have all of those things. Now for your website, uh the way it is is that you now begin to install plugins you begin to put your content you begin to put your images you begin to put your text based content uh you begin to put your videos and audios if you if you're going to be utilizing audios and all of those they are your uh, uh they are your um apartment tools all right so i believe that this is quite understandable so now that i believe that it is understandable let's just get to it straight up and just you know buy this particular uh domain uh, and then we will take it off from there i'm just going to walk you through how to buy the domain so we say of uh, verifying availability so this domain is actually available and of course you can here choose whether you want to go for two years or you want to go for three years now it depends on the client that you're working with some client wants to just buy for three years and then the reason why they want to do that is that they don't want to keep you know going back and forth with you every every year so they want to just pay one year and i mean they want to pay for three years or five years and then they know that in the next five years they are not paying for anything all right is that clients i love to work with all right there are clients that those business and they do not want to you know 
go out of business. They want to keep being in business. However, for some other people, all right, because I mean, this is already going to $92. Now, for some people, they might ration it and say, you know what, I, I can't afford this right now. Let's just go for one year. All right. So uh, for, for me, for most of the clients that I've worked with, uh, it's it's been one or two years. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to go for one year. All right. And uh, of course, there are other things uh, that you will see here to say, but I've already set this up before now. You will say, do you want to get domain protection, uh, which is another extra hard on? I really don't need uh, this domain protection. I, I don't need email exemptions. Now, for this email exemption, what it simply means is that you are paying for like uh, your domain, your name dot. So, for instance, let's say um, info at decoawojdeeducationfund.com, all right, uh, or maybe uh, contact at decoawojdeeducation or question at decoawojdeeducationfund.com. So, if you want to do that, you have to pay for this. I I don't have to do this because once we get back into our web hosting, we can always get that done. That's from our C panel. We can always get that done. All right. So for now, I'm going to toggle all of this off. I've already done that. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm ready to pay. So you can either pay via PayPal or you can pay with your credit cards or debit card. So, um, I mean, I already have some of mine here and I'm going to be working with this particular one and I'm actually going to put this part out. So, we're going to continue this way. You can see my address in the hall. It's already there. And, um, Edit order if you want to still go ahead and if you still want to edit, if not, you can just continue to you know complete purchase. Now this is saying eleven dollars and all, and then I'm just gonna say uh process this and uh in less than three five minutes uh we are gonna purchase this particular domain. It's taking longer. All right, you can see we have purchased each domain that we will to receive to level up. Uh, that's the name that should be my the name of my business, level up media ng. I think right now I'm going to even change I'm going to to change Meraki Digital Solutions. Uh, I mean, Meraki Digital at gmail.com, which is our uh, what's it called our business name. All right, so that's that. We purchased this particular domain, uh, we paid that team dollars for it and um, that's about that that's about that that's about that and uh that's all we need to do with domain so guys uh for now we have come to the end of this particular to domain tutorial and then we're going to jump straight into the next one thank you so much guys Congratulations, you have taken the first step towards becoming a web design pro I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more web design tutorials and tips. Hit the notification bell so you will be the first to know when I post new content. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.